You may have been asked to present your age index in your CV or in some form of portfolio report. And you may wonder what it's all about. Now this video will show you exactly what it's all about. I leave a link to this very seminal publication in the description box below this video. Initially, the age index was used as an individual metric, while these days it also is also used to determine the productivity and citation level of impact of a group or a journal. So the H index is defined as the number of papers with citation number larger or equal to H. But this doesn't make sense on its own. So let me give you a bit of a better explanation via some examples. In this case, we have an author with four publications. And each of these publications has got a few citations already. The first one has got four, second one six, five and five. This means that this author has four publications, each with at least four citations, which gives this author an H index of four. Here's another example. So this author also has four publications. The first one with two citations, the second one with six citations, five citations and four citations. So this means that this author has three publications, each with at least three citations, as you can see here, which gives this author an H index of three. Now, although the H index is a better metric than the total number of papers published, there are however challenges when it comes to using the H index to measure impact. The H index is good for comparing scholars working in the same field, but it is important to note that the H index in different fields, which is influenced by the average number of references in a paper in that field, the average number of papers produced by each scientist in the field, and the size or the number of scientists or scholars within a specific field. In addition, if an author has a low number of publications, but each of these publications are cited widely, the H index won't reflect the impact of the author's work accurately or properly. There are databases which calculate your H index on your behalf. Your H index will differ from platform to platform seeing that these platforms include different publications and their citations into their databases. I leave a few links in there with more information in the description box below this video. And tell me, by leaving a comment in the comment box below this video, do you know of any other platforms which calculate an H index? And which other citation metrics are you familiar with? Let us know so that we can all learn from each other. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.